Okay, so this is a video that actually shows you how to go about getting this data from the temperature and pressure lab into Google Sheets and how to go about creating a dual line graph for this data. So as you can see, I have lab six, atmospheric pressure and temperature up here, and I have a blank Google Sheet just waiting for me um, to be able to pull my data in. So I'm gonna go back here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight from time over through temperature and barometric pressure all the way down to the very last data point here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm going to go over to Google Sheets and right here in this first cell I am just going to go ahead and paste that data. Alright, so a couple of things that took place here. Um, this very first row, uh, for some reason, is blank. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this number one. I'm going to edit, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete row one. So now what I have is I have time, I have temperature, I have barometric pressure, and I have that for one full day, all the way down through 12 a.m. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all this data again. I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to insert a chart. Now the very first kind of chart that comes up is this column chart, which is what I do not want, because really what I'm doing is I'm looking at change over time for both of these variables, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and barometric pressure in millibars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to extend this first, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make this not a column chart, but I'm just going to change it to a line chart. Now the problem that I have here though is both temperature, which is down here, and barometric pressure, which is this red line, is all being used on the same scale. So it doesn't really look like I can really uh, show a relationship between the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to customize, and I'm going to click on this thing right here that says series. I don't want this to apply to all series. I actually want to take the barometric pressure and instead of having it on the left axis, I'm going to put it on the right axis. So now what I've got is I have a temperature scale over here that goes from 0 to 60. And we can see that the temperature line no longer is just this straight line down at the bottom of the graph. But now my barometric pressure here is pretty much a straight line because its scale is going from 0 to 1250. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and undo series. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the numbers over here on this vertical axis and I'm going to change the numbers on this vertical axis. So let's look at the vertical axis. This is what's going to take care of temperature. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a minimum value for this. So it looks like my lowest data point for this set of data is 40.1 degrees. So how about we go with a minimum value of 38 degrees? I'm not going to worry about anything with regard to a maximum value. I just want to go ahead and make my minimum value 38 so that I'm actually able to see some upward and downward trends in my temperature. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this vertical axis. Now I'm going to go to the right vertical axis. So you'll notice that my air pressure, I have 1012.9, 1011, 1013, it looks like I could probably bottom out with my minimum value. Let's see what happens if I make it 1009. All right, that actually works out great. My lowest data point looks to me like it's right around 1010.8, so my lowest value 1009. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that. Now, I'm missing some labels for my vertical axes as well as my axis down here on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chart and axis titles. I'll do a chart title. This is going to be temperature whoops, versus pressure comma table 6-1. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the center. I'm going to make it bold, and I'm going to make it italic. Then instead of a chart title, my horizontal axis title is going to be time. My vertical axis title 
that's the one on the left, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, and then my right vertical axis title is going to be pressure in millibars. So now I have this graph. I can see that as the temperature is going up, I'm seeing that the atmospheric pressure is going down. With the graph selected, you can see these three dots up here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to copy the chart. Then I'm going to come over to my Google Doc. I'm going to click underneath this atmospheric pressure, uh, high versus low table. I'm going to go edit and I'm going to paste. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and paste it unlinked. Pasting it unlinked basically makes it kind of like a JPEG. So you're pasting a picture of your graph into your Google Doc. So we'll go ahead and paste it and there it is. I hope that helps.